This isn't real, by the way. This is just a set. This is going to be a type of video that I haven't done in a long time. And I got some crazy stuff to talk about that can hopefully help you. If you're watching this video right now, maybe you are a young entrepreneur. Maybe you are an entrepreneur in general. You're younger than me. You're older than me. It doesn't really matter. I just want to give my experience and tell you the truth of my life as a young entrepreneur. So right now I'm 21 years old. And at first, the first ever time I started making some money on the internet was at 13 years old with a social media app that's gone now called Vine. And what I would consider when I started like seriously really trying to figure out how to scale things up and fully dedicated to a mission was at 16 years old in 2017. So almost five years ago in a couple months is when I started my serious journey into the world of business and trying to become successful. At that time, what drove me was the materialistic items of cars, of travel, of girls, of things that I had never seen. And like anything else, your perspectives change over time, especially as you start to experience some of those things like I did. But for me, I had a period out of these last five years that I kind of see as a gray area. And that's where I think a lot of learning comes from. And there's a couple points that I want to touch on because the first one is that everything isn't as it seems. You see the shell, you see the highlights, you see, all right, I'm posting on my Instagram story the view from my apartment on the beach in Puerto Rico. Uh, like I have the freedoms to whatever, be in a car right now, book a flight an hour before it leaves. Like these kinds of things that are freedoms that come with some degree of uh, success in a way, even though I consider myself to still be in the very early stages of my journey. You know, you're able to have freedom of choice in certain things, but there's levels to it. And that is only the outside. What you don't see is the inside, the daily operations, the constant failures. When I look back in these five years of my journey so far, there's been a lot of failures. But the only time that I, I actually could fail is if I quit. And that would be the most embarrassing thing that I see in my mind is absolutely impossible. I could never let that happen. I have to have so much control over my mind and I have all these things that I want to accomplish in my life that, you know, that can't even be, you know, come into consideration. Things like failing, losing everything, even though it is a possibility as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, you never know what the hell can happen. You are the sole person responsible for the money that's coming in or the money you're not making. You know, you are where you should be at all times. And when I say everything's not as it seems, I don't want that to be scary, but things have changed because when I made a video like this the last time, I was 16 years old and I was actually watching it before I filmed this one. And I'm like, my goodness, like, I feel like it's not even me. I look at it, I'm like, man, that's like a wise kid for 16. It sounds kind of maybe arrogant to say right now as uh, it's technically still me, but I look at that, I'm like, man, you know, almost five years ago, and the perspectives are still very similar, but everything has changed in my life. And in the good way and a bad way. Because in the last year, I've made some of the biggest improvements in my life ever, giving me the most mental clarity ever I've ever had in my life. And that allows me to not only have clarity right now moving forward, but also clarity into the past. So a couple months ago, I decided to sit down and reflect on okay, what has this absolute tornado of the five years actually come to, you know, where I'm at right now? How has every single decision I've ever made in my life led me to where I am in this current moment? And it was kind of like a screwed with my mind a little bit. But when I really look back, you know, after making these changes in my life and had this, you know, new clarity over the last, whatever, few months, I'm like, man, I really... I burned myself in a way. The past is the past. I can't change the past, but hopefully you can use my experience as a lesson. And you know what had happened basically is you take me at 16 years old when I, I told you that video that I was looking at 2017, similar style of this. And I, I see, you know, I was very innocent at that time. I hadn't experienced much, but I just knew that I wanted to become rich. That's what motivated me was the materialistic things I had never seen or experienced cool cars, travel, nice condos, houses, mansions, all this stuff that I never really had or experienced. And that's what I wanted. And that's what motivated me to a level like I can't even explain. Like it, it was insane. 
Like you can't replicate those first feelings of wanting to be successful and doing everything you possibly can. But I was in school at the time. That's all I cared about. I was failing in classes. I did not care about going out with friends or partying or anything like that. Uh, you know, typical <laughs> typical story, right? And and then that kind of led me into my first level of success. But then you take 16 year old Tanner and you give him everything he'd ever wanted. You fast forward, you know, uh, into 2018, 17 year old Tanner, okay, I'm, I'm driving a Ferrari. It wasn't mine, but I'm driving it. I'm living in, not living, I still live with my parents because I'm in school, but vacationing to these big cities. I'm staying in these big houses in these nice places. I'm seeing everything that I had once, you know, wanted. And when that happened, I got into things that I had never done before. Drinking alcohol, smoking weed, like trying these things and, and being around a lot of distractions that ultimately kind of uh, took me away from you know, a, a bigger vision that I, that I had. And like I said, the past is the past, but that kind of led me into you know, a kind of a couple year phase where no, we made money. We, we've done well. I've continued to live my life and I've moved. Like the day I turned 18, I moved out, got my own place. I've gone to, by the way, moving out of your hometown is the best thing you can ever do. If you're a young entrepreneur right now, moving out, even if you're broke right now, figuring out how to move out of your hometown is going to be the best thing you've ever done in your life. I can guarantee it. Because when I moved out the day I turned 18, I just got an apartment in the city that I grew up in. And that didn't help me any. So I ended up moving to Arizona. And now I live in Puerto Rico, which is completely different. I've never even been to Puerto Rico until I moved there. I realized that after several years, making some decent money, but not seeing like insane amounts of growth, I basically had realized that, okay, I need to be more disciplined in my habits to be able to achieve these higher levels because you can be comfortable whenever you're broke. You can be comfortable whenever you're making six figures you can be comfortable become comfortable making seven figures that's just how it is so i think as humans when i've been in dark places like um like when i was living in that apartment in my hometown you know i was just kind of like down i didn't know what i was doing or why i was doing it you know this is after like my life had been a whirlwind i went from being dead broke in high school to making some money seeing these things traveling and experiencing this life to then back in that hometown which i'd done to myself and I was like kind of in a weird place. And I read this quote that said, progression cures depression, which I think is absolutely true. That as humans, we must always be evolving. We must always be working towards something or else we wake up with nothing to look forward to and we decide to fill our life with vices and bad habits, whether that's junk food, whether that's some type of substance, alcohol, weed, I don't know, whatever it could be for you. And that's when you know your frequency is lowered and your your frequency is what you frequently see. And if your frequency is low, you're not gonna be able to, you know, if you can't help you first, you can't help anybody else. And I heard some of this stuff in a, a recent podcast I was listening to, Andy Frisella and Wes Watson. You should definitely listen to it uh, if you get the chance, which I recommend doing. Instead of listening to music at the gym, listen to that. Um, and, and I believe what they were saying to be absolutely true. You have to fix you before you can build a business before you can be a good dad before you can be a good doctor or be a good student whatever it is because if not then those vices and bad habits will fill up your life and you'll be left and and stuck in a rut it's another cool quote that says like if you sit in shit long enough it'll stop stinking something like that which is true if you're broke you get used to it you learn how to get paycheck to paycheck and live that life <clears throat> eventually you'll get used to it so i had to figure out how to get out of that and the way I did that was put myself in very uncomfortable situations and pushing myself to the limits and becoming more disciplined. But for me, I've found that for financial and business growth as a young entrepreneur, I haven't seen the most growth whenever I'm uh, only focusing on, let's say, writing or like to-do tasks or like work, call it work. Um, you know, it could be many different things. Instead, what I focus on is when I realized I started focusing on myself, my own well-being, things just started to happen. You have more clarity. You wake up with stuff to do. You start, somehow this magically happens. You start networking with new people that you once maybe looked up to and now you're hanging out with them. Like this stuff happens because 
you know, of the frequency and such, I, I can't get into because I don't know all the, like, I, I don't know enough about it to explain it well, but I understand it in my head. But to a point where I know when I'm doing good things, you're living in, I think you call it conscious congruence. Like, if I look at, like, if you look in the mirror or if you have, let's say, a piece of cake in front of you, you know, your mind knows, like, it'll tell you whether or not you should eat that. And when you're listening to that, if that, if my mind tells me you shouldn't eat that, and I don't eat that, then I'm living in conscious congruence. And with conscious congruence- Police reported ahead. Oops, it's a good set. <clears throat> when you're living in conscious congruence is when your frequency is high, and then when your frequency is high, like everything essentially starts to become better. And that is what I had to learn to focus on as a young entrepreneur to take me to the next level. That's something I never even heard of, something I never even thought of, because I stopped investing into myself and time-wise, and health wise and as far as education wise too i stopped investing into myself consuming educational content instead i was more so focused on consuming things that weren't the best for me <clears throat> whether it's just entertainment videos you know compared to which i don't think are bad i still like to watch certain youtube channels that are fun whatever car videos uh but the the formula that's simple is you have to produce more than you consume and that's when i heard that i started to really understand okay, I know what I need to do now. I know how to get to that next level. And same thing like with, for me, I was like, I was focusing on losing weight. And the simple formula is, okay, you need to burn more calories than you consume. So I start tracking all my calories, all my macros, stay in a deficit. Oh my goodness, I'm losing weight. I'm in the best shape I've ever been in my life. You know, it sounds simple, but it's hard to do for most people. And because it's, it's hard, but you can either, <clears throat> you can either live with, you know suffering and being broke or you can live with the problems of becoming rich or becoming wealthy becoming successful and whatever that means to you and dealing with the problems that come with it because problems are always going to be in your life you never can escape them fully um and i thought i could i guess i thought i could not even fix everything with money but I thought that things would just keep on going. And that brings me to where I am now, where I consider myself to be in the best shape I've ever been in my life, physically, mentally, financially, surrounded with people that I care and love. Um, all of these things kind of go hand in hand. When you focus on you, you know, focus on helping yourself before helping others, you'll become the person that automatically is of value in a way. And a value can mean in, in different things, but overall, when you help yourself, you allow yourself to see your potential and what you can really do. And the truth is, not everybody is meant to be an entrepreneur. Not everybody is meant to be self-made because it is a very difficult path, to be honest. Um, ups and downs in my career so far. But I have such big dreams and beliefs in myself and what I'm planning to do that there's no other option. And that's exactly where I believe your mind has to be. But if you're watching this video right now, you're already in the top 1% of people who genuinely care about their future because most people, 99%, are only consuming content that doesn't help them. They wonder why they're depressed, wonder why they're broke, wonder why they feel some type of way, <clears throat> why they're fat. It's because they're consuming the wrong things. And that's the ultimate truth. And these are all things that I maybe could have learned sooner. These are all things maybe I could have learned later on. But I'm glad now that I've been able to find these things and take away these truths that I know make the most sense and are facts behind what it really means to be an entrepreneur as a young person and where I'm headed. And please, if you're a young entrepreneur, you're aspiring, oh, it doesn't matter if you're young or old, report back to me here. Tell me what's going on. Tell me what your journey is, what you are working towards, maybe even what you're struggling with. I genuinely am curious to get other perspectives and see maybe how we can all help each other. So. Hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Peace.